In this lesson, we'll be learning about integration by parts. Integration by parts is a method of integration we apply when we have terms like this. So, when we have terms of different types of functions, so x to the power n, so I'd consider x to the power 1 times e to the power x. So, x over here, this is an algebraic term. while e to the power x over here is exponential by in integration by parts uh, we consider one of the variables to be u and the other one to be dv by dx and then we use the formula uv minus the integration of v times du by dx times dx now we cannot consider any one of them to be u randomly as we wish. We have an order of importance. The order of importance goes like this. So L I A T E, the liat. The L stands for logarithm. So terms like ln x or log x. The I stand for inverses. So stuff like sine inverse x, cos inverse x. The A stands for algebraic. So basically x to the power n, x to the power minus 1. The T stands for trigonometric. So sine x, sec square x cos x, tan x, stuff like that and d x stands for exponential so terms like e to the power x, a to the power x this is the order of importance of selecting u so in this case uh, we have an algebraic term and an exponential term the a comes before e so x will be our u over here so in this case for x e to the power x dx the value of u will be x the value of dv by dx will be e to the power x from here uh, in the formula we also need v and du by dx so we have to find both of them we can find du by dx by differentiating x we'll get 1 and if we integrate dv by dx we'll get v this would be e to the power x again now we can apply our formula u times v will be e to the power x times e to the power x and then we'll have minus the integration of 1 times e to the power x dx so at last we'll have x e to the power x minus e to the power x plus c now in case for x square e to the power x dx will have a similar method so here u will be x square dv by dx will be e to the power x so du by dx will come out to be twice x and v over here will be e to the power x so if we apply the formula we'll get twice uh, x square times e to the power x so this is uv times du by dx times v so integration of 2x times e to the power x dx if we didn't know this from before we already know the integration of x e to the power x if we didn't know this before we'll have to use integration by parts again so if i didn't do this beforehand we'll have to do the integration by parts here again for this since we have it from beforehand we can just use it so we'll get x square times e to the power x minus 2 so this 2 can come over here and everything else will be minus this so minus 2 times x e to the power x plus 2 times e to the power x plus c now for x square uh, x to the power 1 we had to apply integration by parts once for x square we had to do it twice 
for x cube will have to do it twice and so on in this case another method of integrating uh, comes into play so an not another completely new method we have another way to do integration by parts which is using a table so if i want to do the integration of x cube times e to the power x dx if we apply this method we'll have to do three uh, different integration by parts in this method we'll just draw a table we'll label one part of it d the other part of it i the d stands for differentiation so what we write below here we'll keep on differentiating so this is basically the value of u and this is the value of dv by dx and we we'll integrate on this column and differentiate in this column according to our uh, lyat principle uh, x cube will be the one that we differentiate e to the power x will be the one we integrate if we in differentiate x cube we'll get 3x square if we integrate 3x square we'll get 6x if we integrate 6x we'll get 6 and if we sorry differentiate if we differentiate x cube we get 3x square if we differentiate that we get 6x differentiating that we get 6 and differentiating that we get 0 and now on the integration we'll have e to the power x for all of them now the form minus in this formula so uv minus integration of v du by dx is also used in this table in this form so we have alternating plus and minus along this uh, side of the table starting with a positive and now if we want our answer we'll just uh, multiply it diagonally like this multiply each term in the d column with the term below it in the i column and add them all together so for this case we'll have x cube times e to the power x from here then we'll have minus 3x squared e to the power x from this. Then we'll have plus 6x e to the power x from this. And finally we'll have minus 6 times e to the power x plus c. So if we uh, have a term that will uh, give us 0 if we keep differentiating it. We keep differentiating it until we get 0. And then apply this now for some cases we cannot uh, get zero by differentiating the one we want to differentiate for example if we have x ln x dx now in this case using the uh, lyat principle ln x will be the one that's differentiated and x will be integrated if we differentiate ln x we'll get 1 by x and if we integrate x we'll get x square by 2 if we continue doing this we won't get 0 uh, so first we'll place the plus and minus in front and do our diagonal multiplication as usual so we have x square by 2 times ln x as the first term now for the second term instead of uh, multiplying diagonally will multiply it horizontally now there's a slight difference if we multiply it diagonally we can just write it as the sum of whatever it comes however if we multiply it horizontally we'll have to place an integration sign be before it so if we multiply both of them together we'll get minus x by 2 and now we'll have to place an integration sign in front of it and a dx so we'll get x square by 2 ln x minus the integration of x by 2 dx so we'll get x square by 2 ln x minus x cube by 6 plus c in another scenario uh, we might have to apply a trick this trick can be applied uh, in cases where if we continue integrating we'll get the same term back so this case the integration of e to the power x times sin x by following the lyat principles uh, t comes before e so trigonometric 
sin x is the one that will differentiate and e to the power x is what gets integrated if we differentiate sin x uh, we'll get cos x if we differentiate cos x we'll get minus sin x so we'll have plus minus plus and e to the power x e to the power x and e to the power x we can cross multiply them i'm stopping right now because by cross multiplying this we'll get sorry we won't cross multiply we'll stop here and multiply it uh, horizontally so the first two gets multiplied diagonally this one gets multiplied horizontally we stop here because we get uh, sin x once again so if i write this down this will be e to the power x sin x minus e to the power x cos x now we have a horizontal multiplication here so we'll have a integration sign so this will be the integration of e to the power x times sin x dx now if we observe this this is what we had at the first so we get this once again so we can consider this to be a variable usually it's done uh, denoted by i so i is equal to this term over here this expression here is also equal to i so we can write this down as i equals to e to the power x sin x minus e to the power x cos x minus i we can move that i to the left so we have 2i equal to e to the power x sin x minus e to the power x cos x we can divide both sides with 2 we'll get i equal to e to the power x sin x minus e to the power x cos x divided by 2 i is the integration of e to the power x sin x so the in integration of e to the power x sin x is this expression over here